Hello, my name is Stimpy and welcome to a brand new video and today I wanted to do a bit of a service to a survival game that I've been playing recently. Anyway, the game I'm talking about is Miscreated and uh, I'm going to do a quick little chat about it because I think that it actually deserves uh, a bit of praise. Now I feel like this game deserves some praise because it's one of the few survival games that I've been playing recently, well perhaps forever that feels like it's actually going somewhere, which seems to be pretty rare for this genre. Anyway, this game's been here for a little while now, and I feel like it's accomplished far more than DayZ in its development cycle, and daisy has been here for three years. I am, of course, talking about the standalone anyway. And the reason I'm comparing it to DayZ is because they're fairly similar games. There's basically a post-apocalyptic world. There's, you know, towns, cities you go around, you scavenge, you find guns, ammo, clothes, all that kind of stuff. And you've of course got zombies um, that are trying to kill you and eat you and all that kind of stuff. So DayZ is probably the closest game uh, in terms of mechanics and gameplay and possibly even H1Z1. But H1Z1, as you might all know, is just a giant piece of shit. So let's not even talk about that game. So why does Miss Creator deserve any praise at all? Why should we be talking about it? Why should more people be playing it? Well, as far as I can tell, the developers actually care about the game and have been listening to what people have to say about the gameplay and adding different features and whatnot. And this game seems to be getting updates um, fairly often, which is always nice to see when you're buying a alpha game. Most of the time it's like, oh yeah, we'll release a few patches in the, in the first couple of months and then that'll probably be it. But not in Miss Creator's case, it's, uh, they've actually added cars, boats, a bunch of different weapons, um, they've got different types of zombies, I think. Um, they're working on a massive city at the moment, which you can go into and check out. It actually looks like it has been abandoned, like it actually used to be a functioning city, and that people used to want to live there, and of course, now they don't. They've also added base building, and uh, obviously there's going to be other few little bits and pieces in there that I'm not 100% about. But um, what I'm getting at is that they've added plenty of nice features to the game. And of course, there is the environmental graphics, which just look amazing and probably better than any other survival game that I've played. Um, the places, like I said, they actually look like they had people living in them, and uh, it's just been completely abandoned and it's started to get overgrown with weeds and all that kind of shit. Um, no, it just feels really good to be in. It actually feels like you're playing a survival game. On top of that, you've got the zombies, um, which can be a bit of a pain in the ass to kill. Um, so they've actually got a half decent PvE element in there, so it's not all about killing people. I know the first time I jumped in I came across someone, we teamed up and um, we actually had to try and fight the zombies and kill them and all that kind of stuff because they're, they're a pretty big threat. They can actually fucking rape your little asshole if you let them. Um, not that I'm against raping asshole, oh wait, yes I probably should be against that. Which is one of the things that I always hate about survival games is that there's never any decent PvE elements. That's why people just kill on site all the time, because there's nothing else to fight or to do. But this game seems like it's uh, it's done a pretty good job at that, which is lovely. It's really lovely to see, is what I'm seeing. The gunplay seems to work really well. You've got a, a fairly similar system to Daisy again, where you basically find the clips, you put the bullets in the clips, and then obviously the clip into the gun. Um, so that feature is in the game. A lot of different guns that I've come across, a lot of different ammo, uh, different places to loot. And um, yeah, and as far as I can tell, the people actually seem a bit more friendly than, uh, say, DayZ or Rust or whatever. I shouldn't even compare Rust, because you walk into Rust, you're 100% going to die when you see someone. But uh, in this game, you came across people, and they were friendly, and they wanted to work together, and you do come across bandits and all that kind of stuff, but for the most part, uh, people seem to be pretty friendly. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is because it's a little bit sad to see that it has got only a really small community behind it. Like I'm saying, somewhere between five to 600 people playing at any given time when compared to the three other major survival games, like being Ark, DayZ, and Rust, where they have tens of thousands of people on them at any one time. So um, I think it's still half price on Steam uh, for $10. If not, you'll catch it at its regular price of $20, which I think is perfectly fine, it's worth buying, because uh, the developers seem to be making pretty good progress with the game. Anyway, if you're after a new survival game, or you would like to support one that has a decent development team behind it, I would highly recommend getting into this game. It's been a lot of good fun. Anyway, that's just my opinions about Miscreated. Uh, worst case scenario, if you buy it and you don't like it, you can always get a refund if you uh, play under two hours, so yeah, there's always that option. 
Anyway, that's me done for this video. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have an absolutely lovely day and take it easy.